Well, you know, I posted something in a Facebook group that said, I've lived in homes all my life, and it's been a long life. Every one of those homes had cabinets in the kitchen. Every one of them had drawers in those cabinets that were in the kitchen. And in all those years that I've lived in homes, I've never busted the front off of a drawer. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how I go about putting these drawers back together. Now this is actually the third drawer that we've replaced in this one unit. So I'm not looking for it to be pretty. I'm just wanting it to be put back together and to be stable. So it's, it's not going to be pretty because I have some, some chunks of wood missing on it here that have popped off of the bottom side of or the inside of this thing so but like I said this is the third one I got a feeling that it's gonna happen again first thing I like to do though is to go ahead and take the tracks off so that when I set this drawer up to do anything I need to do everything is is set straight and it helps to have your screwdriver set and ready to go so I'll go ahead and get a Phillips head here take these screws off of the side tracks they're little screws, so you want to make sure you don't lose those. And that's one. And one of the things that I, I'm going to show you on this is that uh, this is, in my book, the best proper way to do this repair and in my experience we haven't had any issues since I started having all my guys do this and since I started doing this you know when you're first starting out of this business you try to do things that you think are, are correct and you do them for quite a while but over time you tend to learn that uh, certain things don't work so you adapt and you try to figure out different ways and this is the best way that I have found works for this kind of project. So what I'm going to do is find my awl. I'm going to go ahead and take the staples out of the side of this drawer. Because when you put this all back together, you don't need those staples in your way. And you want to try to save as much of this wood as you can for what we're going to do. Go ahead and dig these staples out a little bit. Then you can get your needle nose pliers and pull those staples right out. Sometimes you have to use a hammer on them, but I find that if you do that, you're destroying the meat that's inside of this drawer and that's what you're wanting to try to save. So I'll go on the other side got one staple left in here pull that one out now this is particle board so doesn't take much to mess up that meat so then I'll take my drawer front I'll inspect it for staples and sure enough I got one left there I want to try to keep as much of the wood on here as I can you're gonna lose little chunks there's not much you can do about that all right, so all that's back together. And I'm going to go ahead and fit this drawer. And I don't know if you can see this, but all this wood meat that I've got right here came off the bottom of this front panel for the drawer itself. When I put this together, that's all going to line up and seam back together. We're going to use Wellwood glue, carpenter's glue, to put all this back together. So go ahead and line this up. Make sure we don't have anything in our way to cause us to not get good adherence with that wood glue. So that's, I think, going to work out pretty good. Looks good here looks good there we may have to tap down a little bit to get a little closer but I'll go ahead and take that off and this is what we're going to do now is go ahead and apply some wood glue on all these surfaces 
on both pieces and spread it out just have a good carpenter's glue wellwood glue makes I mean they've been making carpenter's glue forever I don't need to overdo this just put enough on there that when I spread it out I don't have to come back and do it again now, if you get some down in here go ahead and use your fingers on this and spread that glue around don't worry about being neat and clean with it right now after you put it all together we're going to use some clamps and we're going to clamp all this together and then once it's clamped together then we can come behind and clean this up with a damp rag clean up any glue residue that's squeezing out but the biggest thing is to get good good coverage with this glue so that when you do put it together all surfaces are coming in contact with the glue all right so i think i got a good coverage there and like i said we're not gonna worry about the cleanup until we get everything squished together let me set that aside for a second i'm gonna go ahead and that piece that popped off right here I am going to try to get it to stick back together. So once we do that, and this is where you want to do your finger on this because if you put anything too rough on there, you're going to be taking away some of this, this wood that you really want to try to save in there. And this glue is going to get in there and it's going to soak into this wood and it's going to make that surface actually stronger than it was originally. And that's what, that's why you're using the glue because that glue really does a good job of helping to make sure everything goes back like it's supposed to and that it stays that way after you're done. If it breaks again, it's probably going to break somewhere else. That's the beauty part about wood glue. So I'll go ahead and wipe my hands here. This time, any glue residue that's on the bench, go ahead and wipe it up so it's not interfering with anything. Set that aside. And I'll go ahead and place this back in place. Line it up. Everything looks like it's lined up pretty decent. This is where you go ahead and get your clamps. This is one of the best investments that you can make. <clears throat> and I'm going to do it from behind. This is where it gets a little tricky when you're by yourself trying to do all this well that's not one of my clamps a good one that works there we go and loose fit this clamp then get all this back lined up and once it's there go ahead and squeeze the clamp in grab another clamp And I will show you a close-up of what I got going on here as soon as I get all this done. Then I get a smaller clamp. Hopefully I can get one across here with the smaller clamp. No, nope, I'll have to use a larger clamp. But that's all right. These are pretty cheap clamps to get. And once you get them, 
you'll have them forever and then you can do little projects like this all right what i've done here is this is just squeezing this together right here so i'm coming this way squeezing everything tight I'm coming across here squeezing everything tight that way when this glue sets up everything will be great now what i want to do is try to get a clamp inside of here if you can see that but that piece that little flap that broke off of the that inner panel i got some glue on that and i want to try to squeeze that in to get it to glue in and set up and it's going to take a little bit let's see if we can get this to work yeah i think that's going to be fine and what you can also do is get a little block of wood to go in here and then clamp around the wood that way you're getting full surface Again, like I said, this drawer has been it has been brought in for me to do a repair on to put back in this apartment. And this is the third drawer in this one unit. So I'm not really too concerned about the inner looks of this. If you could come back, you could actually take that little flap off, put some wood glue or wood filler in there and fill it up. And then when it's dry, sand it flat and do just like what we do. I have a, a paint that's pretty close to the original cabinets uh, or the color and the finish. And we just paint the inside of the boxes pretty much at every time we get the apartment ready for somebody to move into. All right, so we got that. Now this piece right here, I wanna probably try to get it to suck up a little bit better to the bottom of that drawer so what I'll need to do on that is to look at this from the bottom Squeeze down a little bit. But actually, I think it's going to be fine. We'll put some caulk in there and that'll make that look fine. This will still glue up just fine. And they don't have a whole lot of glue residue, so I don't have to worry about really wiping anything clean. And so what I'll do is leave that to dry overnight and we'll come back tomorrow, get all the clamps off of it and put some caulk on this bottom line right here and then repaint the inside of this box and it'll be ready to be put back together, put the tracks back on and get it back in that unit. One thing I will tell you guys, do not use L brackets when you're trying to repair a drawer front. That's probably the worst thing you can do. This wood is made out of particle board. And when you go to put screws into this, it's just going to break that particle board up more. You're never going to get a good fit. The first time that it gets kind of slammed or pulled on, that's just going to start getting more and more loose. So the only proper way to really do this in my book, other than replacing the, the drawer box itself, is to glue it, clamp it. And if you've got a brad nailer, you can put some brad nails through it and that'll help to secure it as well. But I've, I've always found here lately that the glue is really all you need to put this drawer back together. But you don't wanna be putting L brackets in this. There's no other fix than gluing it and clamping it and this is from experience and this is just a raw video I'm, I'm not going to do a whole lot of cuts on this to show you that uh, in real time basically 
how I'm going to go about fixing this drawer or how I go about fixing a drawer that the fronts pop off of them. Hey, if you've ever had this issue, tell me what you did to fix it. No judgment. If you used L clamps and you didn't know, that's fine. But, you know, from now on, you know. And I just want to make sure that, uh, that we're getting this stuff done correctly, you know. And it doesn't help if you does it, it, it's it's not really helpful if you if you're not willing to listen and take advice and if you know of a better way than i do hey i'm all game to uh hear your suggestions so let me know in the comments section below what do you do to fix something like this um there are drawer boxes that that we do have in stock but the problem that i have is we get them from hd supply and they just make quick boxes they're stapled from the outside in so they're not really mortised in or like they are here where this panel is actually stuck on the side so it doesn't take a whole bunch for that panel to pop off because all they're doing is stapling when they're not using any kind of glue on the surface so uh, I, i'm not really wild about those anytime i get one usually what i do is take them apart sand the edges on this board because it's some kind of polished wood and then uh, put a line of glue on both sides. Go ahead and put the staples back in, stick it on there, and that glue is gonna give me double support and double coverage as far as holding that panel back in. So, you know, we could put another box on it, but uh, it, they're usually not as good as what the originals are. So a little bit of glue, a little bit of clamp. Sometimes you put a brad nail in it and it goes into this base plate. That, that really does a good job and it, it makes it even stronger than it was originally. So this is going to be ready to put back into the apartment on Monday or Tuesday because we're off on Monday for July 4th and happy July 4th to all of you guys. This is a great country and I hope you appreciate it as much as I do and we'll see you in the next video.